What's up everyone, Shelly back in the ARC dev kit, wandering around my map. So, I've spent the last day and a half, don't know what's going on there, it's just my low graphic settings in the editor. I spent the last day and a half working on a swamp cave that I'm building in this nice little area here. The entrance is kind of hidden back here. To that, you have to crouch to get through. You can't take any dinos in, apart from shoulder mounts. Right, so you go through, you get to here, this section I haven't quite done yet, but and then you're into here, and this is the main chamber, well, no, this is the first main chamber of the cave, so you've got a nice open chamber area, got some rocks, got a bunch of water, this is going to be filled with, oh, that needs editing a bit underwater. It's going to be filled with piranhas and capros and frogs and snakes and things like that. So, to get to the artifact, you have to... Where is it? I've got a path here somewhere. Here. There's a path down here. Um, it's going to suddenly turn daytime here. Hang on. Cheat set time of day. 24 zero, zero. Do it by torchlight, much nicer. So there's a path there, and back here. Okay, it's gone light because I've put a shadow setting on here. I've got a secret little hidden bit here that you have to crouch to go through. Then here we go, we're into the path, the route, and the two paths meet up in this first chamber. That's where the first one is, that's what the second one is. You get through, and you're into here. And you've got the little tunnel, just one little exit there, and a, another hidden one. I don't want to say in the video because, yeah, I don't want to make everything too easy to find when people get around to playing on the map. So you go through your nice little tunnels, and you're gonna come out into a second chamber, which the other path meets up with here. Uh, yeah, that's the other route that you can take through the first chamber. So, and yeah, here we are into the second chamber. This one, I believe, is going to have capros and snakes in it when I get around to adding the spawns. Let's go along. And you've got the big gate here. And you've got a bunch of different paths you can go through. I'm not sure whether I want to keep the gate or not, or just have loads of different cracks in the rock. Uh, that's not the one I go through. This one will do. And you go through. Put the torch away. Cheat set time of day 12. Zero, zero. Here we go. That's a bit nicer. I haven't put the other half of the shadow in yet. It still goes. Like it's still. Still only shadow up to halfway through this. So you get to here and you've got a nice lake. And in the middle of the lake is a nice beam of light. And under that beam of light is the artifact. So ignore the fact that you can see completely fine underwater at the moment. That will be fixed. So you can go through. So through. This is going to be filled with sarcos and stuff. So you, you could have to be careful going through here. It's going to be a bloody difficult cave. And that music is really loud. Let's so get through and... There you go. You've got your artifact of the hunter. And that is your path all the way through the cave. Now, what you could do is swim out. Because, right, let me get a uh, cheat infinite stats. Cheat add experience. And then I go no, 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 zero, zero. False. There we go. So can I just level myself up quickly? There we go. Pure movement speed. And let's make it night time again. Whatever. Okay, so yeah. There's a path leading from the main chamber all the way around. This is going to be darker and like hard so you can't see in it completely. You can see that it'll be like that dark. So the only way you're going to be able to see is with these little planty bits. 
Where's the path? There. See? Can't see anything now. This is what it's going to be like the whole way. Except there's going to be these plants along the route to light the way. This goes all the way through. Where is it? There. And this comes out here. Now you don't recognize this bit. Can I give myself a tool of some kind to break that rock? Uh, I could probably make one. If I got any thatch. Cheap give item num 75 100 zero false. There we go. And let's make a pickaxe. Because apparently you don't spawn in with one in the editor. Here we go. So at the end of this is a rock that you can break. Let's get rid of the HUD. Could you break, please? Hurry up. Yep, just gotta smash down this rock for a minute or so. There we go. So you've come through this dark, dark tunnel. And you come out back in the very first chamber. The entrance is underneath this smash rock there. Well, yes, that is going to be a quicker way to get through there. You can need oxygen. So you're going to have to either pump oxygen you're going to need your swim speed faster, and you're going to need scuba. But it's also going to have things in there that are going to kill you. So what I'm probably going to do is have a bunch of Capro spawns inside there. Where, so you can take the quick way, or you can take the land route. Let's whack this out. Yeah, the land route. Each of these cavity bits are going to be completely filled with everything that just wants to eat your face. Right, yeah. So that's the cave I've been working on. Hope you all like it. I'm looking forward to this cave being finished. It's going to be pushed out in the update that I'm posting part way through May after my exams are finished. So probably about, I don't know, another two weeks until you see this update pushed to the workshop. Can I? There we go. And we're back out here. Right, thanks for watching, people. Goodbye.